Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Raft. This will be episode 4 in the Refresher series. Um, just starting with a fresh playthrough. And today we're going to put an anchor in and probably go ahead and add the antenna and the receiver. So if we go over here to research, we still need to research the receiver and the antenna. So for that we need a circuit board, which we've already researched. We just need to build it. For that we're going to need some Levine goo and some copper ingots. And I've already gone ahead and uh, smelted all those. So for Levine goo you just smelt seaweed on the smelter. And the copper you just do copper ore, of course. So we do need one battery. We can go ahead and make that, I think. Um, yeah, we're going to make the battery. And then we're going to need circuit boards, but first let's look at the anchor and make sure we can build it. Yeah, so we need metal ingots for that. Let me see, I'll just throw this in here for now. Get it back out later. Alright, <clears throat> so we need a hinge and then we'll go ahead and make the anchor. And then we'll make a circuit board to research. Swap this out for a bigger stack because we're going to need more. Go to your research table, open your book, place the circuit board into the slot at the top, hit research, and then you'll learn the antenna, sprinkler, and receiver. Alright, so in order to build those items, we're going to need, and they're located in the cell for the receiver and antenna. Um, first, let's go ahead and put our anchor down, just because we're going to need the space. So for the anchor, I like to put mine center. Um, for that, I left this hole here. It only needs one hole, but I left it so I could kind of see how I wanted to put it. So I'll put it over here just to keep it out of the way. But I would like to flip the handle, and you can go this way too if you want. Obviously, just press R to rotate. And I like that better. Yeah, I'm gonna put it like this just so the handle's by the stairs, because we'll probably be steering from the top. So left click, place down. And we can go ahead and put a solid floor in here. And so if you just want to stop your movement and anchor instead of building the rock anchors, this one's perm <clears throat> this one's permanent. And you just come over here to the little handle and you press E, it'll drop. Press E, it'll pick it back up. Alright, so as you can see we've expanded the raft. I went ahead and built the second floor out. Surrounded the whole base or the whole raft in collection nets. As you can see, they're doing their job. And I like, but most people only do one side or two sides. I like to do a minimum of three. Um, but typically, I do all four sides. That way, once one side's full, the other side will collect whatever it misses. So I never have a shortage of resources. All right, and then let's go ahead and build our antenna and our receiver if we have enough items. So we'll start with the receiver first. And the reason for that, oh, what do we need? What are we missing? is because the antennas have to be so far apart. So that's why I said you need to build your second floor. So in order for your antenna and receiver to work, they need to be at a certain elevation. And then your antennas have to be spaced out. I want to say it's eight blocks. It's eight or nine blocks. Anything farther is too far. And the receiver will tell you that when you turn it on. If, the, if it's too far or too close. It'll tell you antenna one, two, or three. Alright, so we need to build this. I thought I got... Did I not bring out more copper? Or did I drop it? I might have dropped a stack of it. Alright, so let's go back over here. Receiver needs two of those, one of these. There's the receiver, and then we need to build three antenna. We're gonna get some bolts, so we'll just take those. Let's see, we're gonna need three of these. Oh, we're not gonna have enough scrap for all that. Alright, so the way I like to do mine is to center it on the top and I'll make like this the front of the ship and then put all the motors behind me, typically. So in this case, we'll take the receiver, go ahead and set it down. Let me see, this thing's already centered. And you can pick it back up later on, it's not a, it's not a problem. And you need a battery for it, so for the battery, you just place it here. Now. The battery will die if you leave it on. 
another issue with this is uh, if you go to move it, make sure you pick your battery up or you will lose the battery. Unless they've changed it on the new update. Uh, the last ones I've moved, the battery always like ends up disappearing. Alright, and then for the antenna, we'll go out uh, like eight spaces. So one, two blocks, three block, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll try nine just because that's the edge and see how that works. So then you see a cable will run across when it's in place. You can come over here, press E to turn it on. And antenna number one, because it's the first one we put down, is working. All right, let's see, you need some water. And then we'll go through all this and see if we get some scra enough scrap together to uh, finish the other two. Let's go ahead and store everything again really quick. Just because we're going to need a lot of resources in a second. Alright, now I'm going to build a bunch of rope just to free up more space. Like I said, you, can, you can't have too many storage crates um, initially. And you want to save wood for your motors. Because if you do like I did on my playthrough with my brother, we'll, we almost ran out of fuel and couldn't get away from one of the larger islands. Just kind of stuck on it. Alright, so that's all up. Let's throw our food. Well, that'll stack. We don't have to worry about those. And then over here, I'm still a bit surely turning this into my storage area. Eventually, I'll hang signs that'll label everything. Alright, now we'll gather up all the barrels first just to see if we can get some scrap. Hope for the best. Not looking good so far. Probably gonna have to stop at an island and grab some scrap in just a second. Uh, let's see. Alright, so out of that we got uh, five scrap. That's not gonna be enough, I don't believe. Nope. We're going to need four more. But we're going to build one more and place it. Bolt. We need a circuit, another circuit board. Actually, we need two of those. And we're done with the goo. We're done with the copper. We're going to craft that. We'll put this in here until, <clears throat> until we get ready to craft the other items. And, uh, yeah. Move right along. So over here, I'll just go center <clears throat> with this antenna and match it up with the other one for spacing purposes. So I'm sitting at right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And actually, I can let me try to let me take it too far just to show you what I'm talking about. And you can pick these up. Just hold X. So this should be like way too far, unless the game wants to make me a liar today. So yeah, so you see that's antenna too, too far from receiver. So it'll tell you when it's good. And you always want to turn that on and off because the batteries die really, really quickly. But yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I guess it's nine or 10, that's the limit. Let's see, one, two, three. So then, um, so pretty much what you need to do with this is once this is built, this will get you to the radio tower. And we can try and see if we have enough or any scrap. Just been unfortunate today. I should have checked that before I started. And see, there is one island that was over to the left. But as you see, these collection nets are amazing. And we only got one scrap out of all that. Let's go ahead and head over to the island. We'll grab some scrap really quick. And we'll be good to go. Press E to open your cell. Hold R to rotate to aim where you're going. And you can look over outside here and kind of get an eye on the current. And see which way your boat's actually moving or wants to go. You can build a small streamer. 
Let's see if we can do that really quick. Ooh, I don't want to build a nail though. We've got some downstairs. Where did I put you? Oh, is that enough? No, it's not enough. Everybody gets scrap, it'll be alright. Okay, so with this item, it tells you the wind direction. Pretty much which way your raft's gonna float naturally. I usually keep mine close to the monitor so I can see which way I'm going. And then eventually I'll move it over to put the steering wheel in. But yeah, so the wind's going that way, so if we close the sail, as you can see, we were floating that way. But now that I've opened the sail, we're headed for the island. And once you get all three antennas up, you can go to your journal. And you can put these coordinates in on this machine right here. So you just open this up. Um, you'd use this lever to move that arrow. See how it's moving. Selects your numbers, then you press the buttons to go up and down. And that sets your coordinates. And then it'll show up on a map. Let's see, you need to go a little bit sharper. current is not helping us. So in this case what you can do is just come down here hope, hopefully you have one made. I'd keep one or two ready at all times. But just grab your paddle and get that little extra distance that you need. Paddle does a lot more than you think it does. I mean you don't think you'd move this whole boat but you do. All right, so now that we're here, we can drop our anchor. I'd like to close my cell up just until I decide which way I want to go. Let's see, and now I need to store everything. Probably, yeah, we're, so we're going to need another scrapbook too. Probably going to build an extra one of those so we don't have to come back to the boat. Let's throw all this stuff over here. Throw it all back in storage and uh, we'll be headed to the island to grab the last of the scrap that we need. Hopefully. But the gods of the sea will bless us. Do I have. Yeah, I've got one, okay. Uh, you can go in the rope crate. Let's see. Oh man, I had plenty of nails. <laughs> That's where all my scraps at right now. And then all these pillars that we made in the collection nets. It's really expensive in scrap. All right, I forgot to drop this off. We're just throwing here. That'll work out just fine. you down get some water for the road where is my purifier sorry we had two different saves going on so I get lost I'm trying to keep up with multiple boats and where everything's at it gets rough all right and then let's go take a look always use up your weakest one first Hopefully we find at least four pieces of scrap or so floating around. Some seaweed right here. Some sand, we'll grab that in a minute. Just want to get the scrap, get this last antenna up just for the video. Alright, broke that hook. And as you can see, scrap in the water is just all these random looking boat metal pieces. Plenty of it down here, but we're gonna run out of air first. But when you're building your collection nets and your smelters, your chests for storage, you're gonna get all the scrap you can initially. 
It's a very valuable resource to start off with. But once you get all those items set up, it gets to where you don't need it. Like, you need it less and less as you go. Alright. Swim, 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 swim. What is Bruce doing? Why is he not hanging out? Usually he can't come right wait to get a bite. Maybe he's had enough for today. Alright, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna grab some of these watermelons while we're right here, so I don't not like a wasted completely wasted trip running back. Cause all these give you seeds and stuff, so it takes up a lot of inventory space. I just like the trees for the easy planks. Yeah, I guess I don't really need them as much anymore. A little pineapple. And uh looks like the chest is gonna be underwater somewhere. Yeah, that you know, as usual that just gives you bolts and recipes and things. It's like really not a point that you really need them, in my opinion, after you get so many recipes. See, Bruce has been taking chunks out of the boat. Good old Brucey, he needs to calm down. Oh, nah, not, you're not gonna let me up there today? Alright, that's what I thought. And totally not worth it. <clears throat> Water should be ready now, too. One of the best ways in the game to save planks and time is to build the bigger water purifiers. And usually carry two bottles on you. One to fill it with salt water, one to fill it with fresh water. And then two bottles are nice to have too when you're exploring the larger islands. Alright, so we already have a circuit board made. What we need besides that is a bolt. Which I, did, I guess I did not make one. Where did I... Am I blind? Yep. Totally blind. Alright. So with that made, we'll go up here. We'll just try to place it at the corner to match the other one. For symmetry. This looks better. So now when we turn on that blue marker that you see here, that is your radio tower. And from the radio tower, you'll get your next coordinates and things. It, just make sure you thoroughly explore it. Top to bottom, there are levels under the water, just for a warning. And then this is the device I was talking about. So it's, it's currently at 64, 69. If you mess with it and you don't know where else to go, just come here, look at this tab. It'll say radio tower 64, 69. If you ever want to go back to something, you can just swap those coordinates. Because eventually you'll get a few more tabs with more coordinates. Um, the battery indicator here, it works, and it will drop fast, as you see. So, And usually what you want to do is try to get this to where you're headed towards it. Like, for in my case right now, based on the direction we're facing, it should be that way. But eventually your boat's going to get turned around and flipped around, and until you get the steering wheel, you'll just have to uh, do the best you can. But that's how you get your antennas set up. That's how you use the anchor do research and just all the basic stuff if you have any questions or any comments just leave them below um, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button let me know what i'm doing if you want to see something or if there's anything just let me know i uh, respond pretty quickly to comments and i usually stream at night with my twin brother we're just now getting to chapter two so tonight it'll probably be like seven to eleven eastern time and uh, yeah just just let me know what's up and be sure to subscribe thanks